Hey guys, it's Julia. Hope you guys are having a great morning. I am having my coffee, um, which I have also combined with my water <laughs> because I drink coffee all day if, if, I, if it would be good for me, but it's not. So that's kind of my reward today. Um, but I made an egg recipe this morning. I always talk with my hands, so I'm gonna try to stop. Um, I made an egg re recipe this morning that I just kind of made up and I thought I would share it with you guys. So I do a lot of these um, videos for clients that I help coach. And of course, any of you that, that wanna you know, come along the way and, and get some healthy ideas, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help um, answer any questions that you might have. So I have got an egg recipe using egg whites today, but um, if you're on my program, you know that you can go to our Facebook page and you can type in the word eggs if you don't know, you know now. Um, you can type in the search bar and type in the word eggs and you get this handy dandy little cheat sheet on what counts as what. Um, your first week when you're, you're doing program, um, I would say just keep everything as simple as possible. Um, your you know, second or third week kind of venture out and try some, some new and interesting and fun things. Um, but the first week, like when I started a couple of years ago, um, I had like chicken breast and salad, you know, lettuce with tomatoes. So I had like a six ounce chicken breast and I had um, two cups of romaine lettuce and a half cup of tomatoes with, you know, like some salad dressing. And then another day I had, um, you know, just really simple stuff like five ounces of burger, like after it was cooked and, you know, like green beans, like, you know, a certain amount of green beans. So don't make it complicated, but this is going to be like a really fun recipe just to do in the morning um, or in whatever time you want to eat it. I guess I do breakfast for dinner quite a bit. Um, and what you're going to need, and you don't have to have this, but if you do have Rotel, um, it makes this very, very delicious. Um, just the regular Mexican style lime and cilantro. If you don't have that, um, you can use regular tomatoes as well. Um, or you could use just canned tomatoes, um, whatever you have. And then you could maybe add some salsa to it to get it a little bit more spicy. I'm using the egg whites that come in the container. I'm saving, uh, my kids love eggs. They have like eggs pretty much every day. So I am saving those for them and I'm just having these um, egg whites, um, which is why I kind of created this this morning. So I was trying to create a recipe that would be a full um, meal. For our program so like I said if you have any other combination of eggs just type in the word eggs and you can figure out um, what how much you need of everything but I throw this big bag of spinach from Costco in the freezer and then I just take it out like when I need it so what I do is I take this pan and I spray it with Pam and I take out two cups of spinach and if you're wanting to be, wanting to be spot on, um, weigh this out uh, with your vegetable conversion guide. And you will be probably spot on. For this video, I'm just doing this. So we're going to put this in the pan. You sprayed it with pan. You've got two servings of vegetables. So spinach cooks down quite a bit. So I've got this. Um, Pretty low heat right now so I'm going to turn it up a little bit and you are also you're just going to let this cook down for a little bit um, it'll like disappear pretty quickly you will notice spinach is crazy if you're looking for a really good um, cost savings you can just buy the spinach that's already frozen um, and use your vegetable conversion guide for that um, but it's a pretty good good cost savings to buy it frozen already I just happened when I was doing Instacart, um, I ordered like three bags of these and just threw them in the freezer right away. So you're gonna do that. And then I have this minced garlic that I use all the time um, from Costco as well. So we're just gonna cook this down. What's your guys' favorite egg recipe? Do you guys have eggs this morning? Burry, anybody else that's out there? Um, 
I love eggs. Uh, the recommendation on eggs has actually changed for our program. It used to be you could only have three whole eggs um, a week, and then you had to do like combinations of egg whites and egg beaters, but they changed to six. And nutrition support actually says you could have like an egg a day, so you could have seven a day. Now, if you do have high cholesterol, um, they do recommend limiting it to the three. But if you don't, uh, it's a pretty good deal. So we've got the spinach, you know, down to about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a teaspoon of the minced garlic. I'm going to stir that around a little bit. Just for about a minute, make sure it doesn't doesn't burn. I've been known to burn garlic about every time I cook it. So you're gonna do just carefully, keep an eye on it. You know, have it over like medium heat. And then you're gonna add a half cup of this rotel. So this is your third vegetable. So we got two vegetables in the pan. And then we've got this rotel that is going in the pan as well. If you have any questions, let me know. But this is going to be um, your full your full meal um, if you're doing this program. So now that I'm um, in maintenance, I eat about three of these um, what we call you know full meals a day. Plus I eat every uh, 100 calorie snack um, every two and a half no more than three hours so I still eat um, every two and a half three hours I eat about um, somewhere between 1700 and 2000 calories a day and maintain 125 for the past two years after losing 65 pounds so it's kind of nice to be able to eat a little bit of everything now and, and get that to that point of knowing how to keep it keep it off for good I'm going to go for a walk after this with my son, Jack, who I am really happy will go for a walk with me. It's really nice outside today if you haven't checked it out. So this is this is kind of beautiful. I I uh, showed it to Rob this morning. He, I'm like, it kind of looks like Christmas. Um, <laughs> it's, got, it's got all the peppers. It makes the kitchen smell really good with the garlic. So, you know, just let that hang out for a couple minutes. Um, and stir it up a little bit. Then I, so for this recipe, it's, you know, a little over like a cup and a third of egg whites is what it ends up being. And then I have a half a cup of reduced fat sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. You can use whatever reduced fat cheese that you have. If you don't have reduced fat, um, maybe just use a little bit less than the half cup. So this is going to uh, and when I did the Rotel, by the way, I drained the can of Rotel because you just don't want um, all that juice from the tomatoes in this dish. It'll take forever to, for it to reduce down. So I just cooked it for a while until I could actually start smelling um, smelling the tomatoes and the garlic. And it's really quite lovely. You can make this into an omelet too, but um, for ease's sake, I figured that I would just do it this way. Um, if you are doing it into an omelet, you would cook all this take it out, take out the vegetables that you just sauteed and put them in a different dish, set them aside, and then come back, um, come back to the pan, you know, put the, spray the pan with some Pam, put the eggs in there. Uh, there's a video that I have on how to make an omelet, or you can Google how to make an omelet as well, but you just keep, if you're trying to make an omelet, you just keep kind of turning the pan and pushing the eggs um, towards the center until all of the eggs are cooked and then you can put the other ingredients that we have back in on top of it you know, the eggs might not be totally set at that point but they're pretty well set and then you put the cheese back on top of it and fold it over and you've got this huge omelet so um, if you want to make it look pretty like that that's totally fine so we're just going to put um, this in here and let it hang out for a little while try to keep an eye on it and and stir it um, every once in a while and you know the the other cool thing about this if you want to spice it up a little bit more so you've got um, two more um, what we call condiments that you can use so on your condiment guide uh, a condiment could be 
um, Parmesan cheese, like a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, if that sounds good to you. Um, it could be um, some more spice. So if you wanted more like chili powder or any more like flavor to this dish, or if you wanted to add salsa to it, um, like a tablespoon of salsa in the condom as well. So you could add like two more tablespoons of salsa. This um, dish actually needs one healthy fat added to it. So that could be um, avocado, which I thought I had to add to this wonderful dish because I bought a huge bag of avocados from Costco and my daughter has been making avocado toast every night and I think she used them all. So another option would be to drizzle like a, uh, a teaspoon of olive oil, you know, over the top of this just to get your your healthy fat. Um, I have like a list of healthy fats up here inside my cabinet. So they could be olives. Um, like I said, I wanted to do avocado. It could be butter even. So if you wanted to use some butter in this dish, it could be a half tablespoon of butter. So as you can see, we just keep kind of scraping down the sides in this huge plate of eggs. Just keep scraping. I've been known to eat eggs about 10 o'clock at night because I get busy and it's just kind of my go-to. So you're going to keep doing this. You can see this is a lot of food. Uh, if you don't want to eat it all at once uh, with our program, you could eat it one time with your other you know, snack that you have during the day and then you could finish it. Um, at night, you could even split this into three servings if you want. Not for asking any questions. So we get to this point where you know you're you're getting a lot of the juice out. Now, if you have a lot of juice from the tomatoes that are still left, that are obviously not eggs, um, you can kind of take a spoon and take some of that out uh, if that's bothering you. Um, it does kind of set up here you know, after a while. And if you if you do reduce out the, the spinach a little bit longer, longer than I did, it does help with this um, juice that you have seen here. This is not egg whites that I'm getting. So now the next step that you're gonna do is you're going to just take your cheese, and make that go over the top, and then cover the lid for you can turn it down a little bit too if it's getting kind of hot. Cover the lid, let it melt, and then we'll see what we have here. But like I said, this is all three greens that you need um, with two cups of spinach, um, the half cup of the diced tomatoes. It's got one condiment in it with the garlic, and um, you can have two other co condiments on there, and then you need one more healthy fat. So that is kind of what you end up with. It's a huge plate of eggs. I'm gonna let the cheese melt a little bit more. Uh, if you wanna make this ahead of time, totally make it ahead of time. And then just put it in the refrigerator. You can even freeze this, you know, in half sections, which I've been known to do. And then just um, um, take it out and, and thaw it out in the microwave. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope this was helpful. And let me know, Shelly, good to see you. If you have any questions, I know you're having problems finding eggs. So if you have the egg whites, like I said, um, awesome. If not, you know, utilize. There's like different combinations of whole eggs um, plus egg whites. There's um, combinations of just egg beaters and cheese. Um, but this is what I have today. So this is what I thought I'd make. Anyway. We'll talk to you later. Good to see you. Bye.